Predomorph Plagiarous Linesters, otherwise known by its colloquial name of the Predomorph and sometimes nicknamed the Stalker, is a genetically engineered recreation of the species Plagiarous Prepotens, also known by its more common species catalogue name of the Xenomorph XX121. Like the XX121, the Predomorph is an endoparasitic creature and shares many commonalities with it. So, in today's datalogue we at the project plan to explore everything we currently know about this understudied creature. The Predomorph largely resembles that of the more commonly encountered Xenomorph XX121. Their morphology is extremely alike, however there are a few key differences that set the two species apart. The Predomorph stands at around the same height of around 8 to 9 feet tall and has a noticeably slimmer build. The Stalker can easily switch between bipedal and quadrupedal stances with ease. The Stalker is also much more organic looking, covered in shades of grey and black, and lacks any real semblance of the biomechanical features that have become synonymous with the XX121 species. There appears to be a lack of an exoskeletal structure as well, as the Stalker appears much fleshier, covered in exposed muscular and ligament-like tissues. This means the creature can contort easy into different positions, however, does result in a beast more susceptible to physical damages like rifle fire as well as immense temperatures. The stalker has been shown to grow larger than a drone, move faster and attack with much more ferocity, however they appear to be far less intelligent, lacking much in the way of strategic thinking and so the beast acts much more animalistic in nature, having an insatiable need to kill that can sometimes be to its detriment, the creature getting itself trapped or tricked somewhat easily due to its hunger for the kill. Their rage is not only reserved for their prey, but extends to any rival species, including other xenotypes. One defining feature of the Predomorph biology is the rate of its maturity. While still taking into account the overall rapid growth of the XX121 species, from gestation all the way through to maturity into a stage 4 drone type, when using this in reference to that of the Predomorph, its specific rate of growth is even more impressive. The Predomorph chestburster is seen growing in size immediately following its birth and given only a couple of hours can go from around a foot tall to over 8 feet. The result of experimentation carried out by the rogue Whalen Corp synthetic David A. The Predomorph was set loose on the crew of the Whalen Utani Corporation colony ship USCSS Covenant in 2104 after it ventured to Planet 4 otherwise known as Paradise. David engineered the Stalker after studies he conducted on various alien species native to the engineer planet of Paradise. Achieved by combining these biological materials with the engineer's genetic accelerant chemical A03959X.91-15 and materials extracted from the body of Dr. Elizabeth Shaw. Basically, this rogue android discovered biological and textual references to a creature of ancient origin, either being produced or discovered by the engineers themselves. David studied these materials and after 10 years of work, eventually was able to recreate them as best he could, producing his species Plagiarous Linesters. And while his creation was very close to that of the one depicted in the records of the engineers, the Stalker was nevertheless an attempt at a recreation, and still fell short of the biological perfection of the XX121. After he was successful, the USCSS Covenant would arrive to Paradise, responding to a distress call from the now deceased Elizabeth Shaw. Once arriving David plotted to use the crew members to further his exploration and experimentation with the Xenomorph species and so implanted two members of the Covenant's crew with plagiarist linesters, who later birthed the first Predomorph. He then would then assume the position of the ship's android, Walter, and plan to use USCSS Covenant, its crew and complement of colonists to continue his work. David transmitted the records of his experiments to the Whale and Utani Corporation, expressing his intent to eventually produce a queen for his hellish brood. The life cycle of the Predomorph is very similar to that of the Xenomorph XX121's life cycle. The cycle begins as always with the Overmorphs. While appearing comparable to that of the XX121 Overmorph, the Predomorph variant is slightly differently shaped. Instead of a leathery reptilian scaled like exterior, the Predomorph instead possesses a more detailed outer flesh. Flesh that's coloration is more shades of greys and reddish pink in some areas. The Predo face hugger. Found within the Overmorph stage of the Predomorph species, the Predo facehugger are very similar to the XX121 facehugger. The only real difference is that they appear much thinner and bonier, with their skin tighter to their skeletal structure as compared to an XX121 facehugger. The Predo facehugger will produce a stage 3 Predomorph known as the Imp, or the Immature Predomorph, a chestburster type creature that is born as an immature version of its adult counterpart, as compared to the larval chestbursters of the XX121 species. Whilst very similar though, the these two creatures are still separate species. The other studied chestburster type is the imp or the immature form of the Predomorph. 
This chestburster of the Predomorph species has translucent skin and is born like the Bambi burster with its four limbs and head dome already developed. The main difference is that instead of being in larval form, the imp is instead basically a small infantile version of the large matured Predomorph. Unlike the other chest bursters talked about so far, the imp will often after its birth, if not feeling threatened, sometimes mimic the actions of the nearest organisms around it, quickly gaining an idea of its future prey. As compared to its counterparts, the imp matures and develops much more rapidly to mature the stalker is the fourth stage of the life cycle of the species Predomorph. The attempted recreation of the XX121 species by the synthetic known as David 8 during his time on the engineer colony of Paradise, classified under the species name Plagiarist Leinsters, the stalker is a highly aggressive and is far more a brutish cousin of the xenomorph species Plagiarist Prepotence. Again, as stated appearing very similar to the xenomorph XX121, the stalker is hypothesized to be the evolutionary dead end for the species Plagiarist Leinsters, as it has not yet been observed to age or molt into a stage 5 or really anything post maturity into a drone stage 4 type. This is despite David's keen intentions to produce something past this point and further evolve the species. If you really want to support what we do here and gain a bunch of awesome rewards, consider joining as a Project Akron channel member like company representatives, the Sith Lord 906, Lewis Perkins, and Jack Fleming Jr. Or like our team members, Ronchi, Ambrosia, and Carl from the Wargame Bootcamp. Until next transmission, this is Project Akron bringing the knowledge and the power directly to you.